What's going on, y'all? Just finishing up some stuff for the Lord. And I just wanted to come to you. Everybody out there, uh, you know, I have a lot of um, different friends. You know, we got drug dealers I got friends as. I got homosexuals or friends. I got friends of mine who are guys who want to dress like women. You know, um, I don't hang out with them, but I love them with all my heart. And I pray for them from afar, right? Because... God, it grieves God's spirit if I'm around that, you know, and hang out with them and accept it as normal. And we all know right right is right, wrong is wrong. Here's the thing. People got to stop saying Christians are dangerous. You can say whatever you want, but let's, let's stick to truth and reality of the Holy Spirit of God who flows through me. Our parents, your guardians and mine, whoever they might have been, don't even matter. Whoever stepped in and showed you love, right? Love, like the, like the heart back there. Whoever showed you love taught you to love a man is wrong, to love a woman is wrong, because common sense says, you don't believe in the Bible, we don't even need the Bible, common sense says, two men can't have a baby, two women can't have a baby, means it's wrong, okay, if it was right, you'd be able to um, conceive and have a baby, then it would be normal, abnormal, it's not normal, it's of the devil, right, this is the thing, um, God wants you to know, stop saying, um, Christians are evil, we're here to spread love, and just because, and here's the thing, Holy Spirit have your way, just because Christians and me, we're not perfect, we're forgiven. It means every day I try to get up and do better, but when I mess up, I recognize it, and I step back and ask God for help in that area of my life, which you, the non-believer don't have. You just continue down that path of doing wrong, and will lead you into a sinful way. Mentally, spiritually, you're jacked up, which leads to mental issues and then health issues, right? Addiction of any kind, because you try to hide your sin. You know, when you do something bad when you're a kid, um, the adult in the house should have punished you and sent you to your room, or even like me, got to smack on my behind, because that's what behinds are made for. Praise the Lord. Now, there is no correction when you follow Lucifer. He just lets you go free and tells you, hey, do this, do that, scream this, scream that. Demons are possessing your mind like... God controls my heart and, and controls me and leads me to righteousness, which is anyone who believes in Jesus and tries to be better. Don't make me better than you. It makes me happier and better than I was yesterday, better than Daryl was yesterday. But you cannot sit back because you still want to do what we were told to do when we were kids not to do wrong, and you still want to do that as an adult. Don't call me dangerous. Don't call God and Jesus Christ dangerous. They're the ones you need that Lucifer the liar has tricked you, saying, oh, they think they're better than you, this or that. It's because I choose to do what my parents taught me when I was a kid into my adulthood. I don't have my parents no more, but I got God to keep me focused and, and focused on doing, not accepting evil for good like you all are doing, but I still accept good over evil and a lie is not the truth. A truth always defeats a lie. I choose to tell the truth and live good. And it makes me evil because I'm a Christian. No, it convicts you of what you're doing wrong. So instead of taking up responsibility, all these people out here that are calling me dangerous and all Christians dangerous, you're lacking in responsibility for your own decisions in life. You complain about this, you complain about that, but you're a part of what, what you're complaining about. I'm trying to make a difference. God is working through me in light. Truth and reality, love and compassion. And there is a life after this, guys. You either go to heaven or hell. We've all heard of heaven and hell since we were kids. I don't care if you're a drag queen, homosexual, drug dealer, um, a bully, a gossiper, false accuser, whatever. We all got to answer to God in the end. Jesus Christ, like you had to answer to your parents or guardian. If you didn't have, to have none, you answered to the police, right? Praise the Lord. Because right is right, wrong is wrong. I'm no better than you. I'm just choose to follow and have God in my life to speak truth and reality instead of lies of Lucifer who's controlling your mind and your actions like God, you know, controls my heart to spread love, compassion, truth and reality. Lies and, and fantasy world that Lucifer has everyone living in. I used to live in it. I know you're still living in it because you're calling me dangerous and I would give my life for you. How is that dangerous? How is me telling you um, not to lay down with a man or lay down with a woman, the same sex, wrong. I'm just telling you, hey, you can live your life the way you want. I'm trying to help you at the end of this life. When you stand before Jesus, you don't have to answer for these things. That's love, my friend. Truth and reality is love. Truth is Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. It's all about love, my friends. I'm not judging you. And the devil, without the truth of God in your heart, right, you believe the lie of Lucifer that Daryl thinks he's better than you or that Christian people who think they're better than you. No. When you see us living life right and talking about truth and reality, when you're living in a world of sin, doing wrong and, and, and accepting evil for good, now you're trying to blame us, trying to blame me 
for you not stepping up and being an adult. But the only way you can be an adult and, and, a, and a good person, right, is through God. He makes you, He lends you His um, uh, self-control, discipline, love, flows through Him, through Him to us when we ask Jesus Christ into our lives as Lord and Savior. But don't sit back and expect me to receive evil for good or your lie for a truth. It don't work that way. Our parents didn't raise us, and God is not teaching me that. But Lucifer has a hold of your mind and your heart where you try to say, he's evil, this and that. But you're being a hypocrite. Hypocritical to the fullest extent. Because I live my life over, tr you know, with truth and reality of God and try to live life right. And I tell you, hey, man, that's wrong, and it's bad for your physical health and your mental health. I'm the bad guy. In all reality, guys, I love you. We all love you as Christians, you know? Yeah, there's some Christians out there to give Christians a bad, bad name. There's some police out there to give all the rest of the good police bad names. There's some beautiful pit bulls that um, bad pit bulls give them beautiful ones bad names. You can't judge everybody by, by one person. It's never been a skin condition. It's never been a skin condition. It's always been a heart condition of people. You either serve Lucifer the loser or you, you serve Jesus Christ, the King of King, Lord of Lords, and you're a champion, man. Jesus has taught me I'm not better than you, but I, he teaches me right from wrong, like my parents tr tried to do when I was a kid, or your guardian. So don't be mad at me because you're not stepping up in life and doing what's right. You choose to do wrong, and you've got to deal with those consequences. But don't you dare call me dangerous. I love you. I would give my life for you. If I saw a bus coming and you were moping across the street, you know, um, I would knock you out of the way and take the hit of the bus. That's what love is. Is that dangerous to you? Is it dangerous that I tell you don't smoke and drink because it's bad for your health? I'm dangerous. I'm better than you. No, I care for you. I love you enough to step up and say that. I tell you, hey, my friend, you're a man. A, a, a cat can't be a dog and a dog can't be a cat. So how do you think as a man that you were born to be, how can you think you can be a woman? Because Lucifer the liar has told you you can't be happy as a man, right? Be a woman. How's that working out for Bruce Jenner these days? I don't know what his name is as a woman. I don't even recognize that because I don't live in a lying fantasy world of a man being a woman. But how's that working out for him? He's against transgender guys running in races against women. That shows you that he's a man and he understands right from wrong even though he's confused because he didn't have God leading the way in his life. He had Lucifer the loser lying to him along the way when Jesus along the way tells me the truth. And hey, don't do that. Don't say that. I'm not perfect. I mess up. I repent. I say sorry, just like I said sorry to my mother and father, who I, or my mom and dad, who I offended, or my, you know, whoever was watching me that day when I was bad. But don't ex don't expect me to accept your lie for truth and your evil for good. It don't work like that today, twenty two thousand years ago, twenty years ago, or today, or in the future. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Do not try to push Lucifer and his lie and evil over good and lie for truth with me or any Christians. And we're not bad people because we step up in truth and reality of God. Again, I'll say it one last time. You need to step up and take responsibility for yourself. No man should be dressing like a woman. But again, if you want to, go ahead, man. I love you. I'll hug you. But I'm not hanging out with you because I'm not having that spirit on me. You understand? Because it grieves God. If I hang out with evil-spirited people, that spirit's going to corrupt me. Not that I'll ever dress like a woman, but it grieves God inside of me because right is right, wrong is wrong. And, and we live in a world where people are accepting evil over good. You don't see nothing wrong with that. It's time for you to step up and take responsibility for yourself and the way you live your lifestyle and quit blaming other people when they say, Hey, man, this is kind of wrong, man. You know, it's been wrong for a long time, and it's wrong today. You need Jesus to help you be the man that God made you to be or the woman that God made you to be instead of being the woman trying to be a man and the man trying to be the woman that Lucifer has tricked you into being. You understand what I'm trying to say? Hallelujah, right? But, hey, man, you know, to each his own. But don't say Christians are dangerous ever again. It's time for you to step up and take responsibility for your sinful ways. Just like we had to step up. At, well, we didn't step up. Our parents stepped in and told us right from wrong. And it still applies today. You understand me. Drinking and smoking is wrong. Why do you think our parents tried to stop it? Now, I used to smoke a ton of pot since the age of 13 to a couple years ago. 
totally clean, drug free. Why? Because when I pray, all those thoughts of Satan saying, oh, you need a cigarette, you need a blunt to calm your nerves. Yeah, he's telling you, calm your nerves with something that's going to kill you. Make you cough up phlegm and blood and give you lung diseases and heart conditions and bad teeth and everything else. So don't tell me this world offers anything good because it's of Satan. And I'm telling you, quit stop. I mean, you can say whatever you want to say, but you've got to really step up now and put these lifestyles down, these addictions down, and, and, and grab Jesus. Put them down and pick up Jesus, okay? If you need to know how, get in touch with me, man. People know who I was, a drug addict, um, you know, a uh, lustful guy, loved strip clubs, loved my dirty magazines, the hustler magazines, loved the marijuana, loved the loose women, the worldly women, right? But what happened to that? Why didn't I kill a man who beat and bullied my daughter? Because God's love is in me. God's self-control is in me. He flows through me to say, uh-uh. Like my daddy, Daryl Sr. did. Don't say that. You better not smoke that or drink that. So don't quit blaming others for your, 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 uh, your downfalls in your life. It's time to step up and take responsibility. If you can take time to say Christians are dangerous, this guy thinks he's better than me, this, that, and the other, and gossip and false accuse me of different things, it's time for you to take that energy and put it towards God and get your life right. If you want your life right, admit you're wrong. Through Jesus Christ, your life can be right today. Hallelujah. Peace be with you.